everybody, Samantha with Jolie Flips Vintage here. I am heading over to Hollywood, Florida. Our Hollywood, Florida is nothing like Hollywood, California. You have to see it to believe it. We have lots of thrift stores, lots of shopping, lots of Cuban influence with the food and the fun. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. You need to come and visit South Florida and make sure you check out Hollywood. We'll bring your Ikea bags. Get your Ikea bags ready because the amount of thrifting and shopping you're going to do is just going to be insane. But we are heading over to the red, white, and blue store. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls. If there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. Okay, don't forget, most red, white, and blue thrift stores are cash only. They usually have an ATM inside. Somebody told me there was a red, white, and blue that took cash, but... I didn't experience that for myself, but anyway, let's get in there. It doesn't look like from the outside that there's many people, but from the parking lot, it looks like there is still. But this is a big shopping center, so. All right, blue is 75% 70 off. Green and red is 50. Oops. Pull, Sam, pull. It helps to read. I'm gonna grab this cart. I might have to voice over because there is very, very loud music. And I did get a couple of copyright strikes already. Um, that's okay. They didn't take my video down, but they just, they give me warnings. And you can't monetize your videos if you have copyright warnings. Let's see this one. Uh, that's made in Norway. That's pretty. Okay, so right off the bat, I don't actually see anything here. There's a lot of forest pieces and things that I would pick up if I didn't already have. Like that's a good pattern that's coming back. Um, I don't really see anything here. No luck yet. This is nice, but it's actually a florist piece. Well, it's uh, made in China, um, a vase. So, oh, there's this one that looks kind of MCM. I love the tones, $4.99. I just like the colors and it's obviously made from back in the day. It's a project piece. I think for $4.99, I think we'll go ahead and start off our cart haul with that. All right, so, okay, so that's good. Um, let's see, there's an owl here. Oh, it says here, RBE7. It's kind of a cool little owl head base, right? With the intentional crackle, but he's not super exciting. I'm not going to pick these up anymore. I have a lot of these kind of pieces. And here's a whole lot of milk glass. This one is pretty. There's no price on it, but there's a code. Don't know what that code means, but I'm going to pick this one up because I like the pattern and I've never actually seen that pattern before. I have you guys. I have it. This might be Kenyan soapstone. Yeah, made in Kenya. They don't really resell for for a lot, but that one's a nice one. That's an old bottle back uh, here. That might be a good pickup, I think, for $5.99. It's pressed glass. I mean, there's the mold line there. It's not hand blown or anything like that. $5.99. This is deceiving. It does not glow. I don't think so. It feels pretty cheap when you pick it up with your hand. And then there's a piece back here. Oh, I'm so desperate to find some Skurik pieces. Some nice West Germany. Oh, I like that silver crest. Oh, but it's $12.99. I don't think there was any off on that, on the white. I don't remember saying that there was. I've sold these before, but it took a long time to sell. I don't know if they're missing toppers, but they're too small to be like a good vase. And look at this. They're both the same thing. One's $7.99 and one is... $9.99. So I'm, I'm not going to pick that up. Let's see. I have this in neodymium at home. This is a really nice one. But again, we'll leave that. Just got to learn from the mistakes you make, you know? Like if things are sitting on your shelves for a long time. These are kind of neat. I don't know. It says 
two of three, but I, I only see two, so there's no price because one is missing. So maybe somebody picked one up thinking, you know what, that was the price of it, and they left the other two behind. But I'm not sure. This chicken, unless he's broken anywhere, he's only $5.99, which I think is a pretty good deal for the chicken. Let's see. A lot of times these are these are broken. There's something, yeah, see? He's broken right here. Oh, is he? He's got a little roughness. So I can't figure out if that's a crack. Yeah, it's a crack. And it looks like a probably a repair on the tail. So let's just leave that. It's an egg paperweight. Kay's collection, which is Dollar Tree. Funny, they want $6 for it. This one is nice with the butterflies. It's $14.99 though. So it's a little steep. Not if that was like in an antique mall, that would probably be a good deal. It's probably made in China. This is made in the US for $3.99. Facsimiles, Nashua, New Hampshire. Oh, that sign? Yeah, there's like a P back there. I don't know. I'm not digging it. I'm not like really digging it. And then there's this bottle that was actually painted. Hi, huh, I wonder about this bottle. Curious about it. It's missing a topper, but I just want to look that up and see if there's anything like that online. All the other paperworks are just too expensive. $12.99 for that one. And this beautiful one is $12.99 also. We're going to have to leave those. This is Majolica. These are, this one's actually cool. I've never seen it with the dude sitting there. I wonder if he was supposed to be holding something in his hand. His thumb is quite pointy. It's $3.99. I have those already. Are those gargoyles? Oh my gosh, be stone, please. Yeah, this is actually really cool, but it has chips on them, this one. Maybe it's intentional chipping, I don't know. It's definitely newer, so we will leave that. And this pig is kind of cool. This project piece pig here is really neato. I'm just talking a lot, by the way, just because of the the music up ahead. If it gets really, really crazy, I'm going to voice over. I'd like to give you guys the opportunity to hear things in real time, so I risk it all the time. But, um, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? All right, let's move on to the section. Wow, I've never seen one of these shell thingies like this extensive before. This is a crazy one. Check it out, they're usually little small animals. And it looks like this one is $7.99, but it's missing some shells. So this is actually pretty common in Florida. They might resell well, but like I said, very, very common in Florida. So I'm going to pass on that. This napkin handkerchief base. Oh, cool. It's actually made of, oh, look, it's Hope 2006, $5.99. I just kind of like the design. It's like kind of plasticky. It's very cool. Artsy. I might end up putting that back, <laughs> but I want to ride around with them. Maybe I'll think about it. Let's look for head vases because there tends to be head vases here a lot of times. She is caressing, oops, caressing a lamb or something. Cool, and then look at this. That is um, kind of old, it's a fish vase. There's two of them, one is, they're both $5.99. This one's really neat, $5.99 also a handkerchief style this one's glass though this one's cool i would take that for 5.99 i know that you guys just tell me all the time like the prices are so steep it is but not for florida i mean no it is it is but uh, for florida they're decent prices actually this one not really 7.99 for south florida because things to be things tend to be a little more money out here paul bunyan $14.99. I think he's a decanter. I don't know. Kind of cool. This one's real cool, but it is very heavy. Uh, I don't want to pick that up. It's $25. Okay, okay. Maybe the prices are a little <laughs> too much. Huh, I don't know. Really, it's hit or miss. And here I am with the voiceover. I had to lower the volume in the background because Menudo, Menudo, I think that's the band in the background. Anyway, so this cast iron 
duck. I do pop it in my cart, but I end up putting it back because I can't find the value of it online. There's just so many of them. And but this chinoiserie one I do pick up. It's so pretty. Look at that beautiful soft pink color on that. Definitely pick that up. I like this. If there was two of these metal chickens, I would have bought it. Don't know what this is. I thought they were some kind of sculpture, but there's two of them. They look like soap bottles. Maybe vintage. I don't know. If you guys know those, let me know. Um, they have that like atomic blue kind of Thunderbird color to it. So maybe it's vintage. This is a Project Peace Hippo. Kind of cute. Resin over here. Looks like it lights up or something. These Hobby Lobby style figurines, they want too much for it. $5.99 each. I just kind of liked their Priscilla Presley double lash thing going on. It's like the head vases, that kind of lash. I wasn't going to pay $5.99 for it. Looks like I'm going to put it in my cart here, but you'll see I'll put it back on the shelf a little bit, in a little bit. Then I'm going to go back over to the shelves and look some more. So music boxes are not selling for me right now, but this is so darn cute. This bunny is really cute too. It's a project piece. There is a chip on it, but I'm going to buy it and put it in my collection and just set it out Easter time. This is really cute too, that little vintage dog on the shoe that's a good pickup to put on a whatnot sale people love the little things because of shipping cost see i'm gonna put these back i really like them i really did but all right so let's go over here okay so this is another thing i ended up putting back because it's twelve dollars and 99 cents and i do kind of look this up and I saw one that sold for about $80. But then towards the end of my visit here, I looked it up again and I saw that there were some that sold for $10. So I put those back. This one, however, I know that the value is only like $12 to $15, but I really like it. There's a lid on it. Um, there are no chips, no cracks. I'm going to add it to my collection because I need something that looks like that for a planter as a planter weeping gold is not selling right now not for me i forgot the name of this um this design there's three pieces here i've seen these before i think it's beautiful but i'm just not going to pick it up i'm hoping that weeping gold comes back because i have a lot of pieces that i need to sell this is, again, you know, they want like 12 something dollars for each one. And I, you know, I look it up and again, this one sold for about $50, but then 20 and 15. And I end up putting back the gnomes stuff. I'm not fond of gnomes anyway. They kind of creep me out. So it's not like I'm going to lose any sleep over putting them back on the shelf. Um, lots of figurines here. I got to look between all the time. Willow tree is another thing. Look how much they want for it. It's just not selling right now. So, and then there's this piece for $30. That's not even, honestly, as beautiful as it is, it's not even worth $30. These celluloid, I think they are. But anyway, these sold for about $15 each online. So I'm going to put those back. There's not a lot of profit there. Even though I feel like they should be selling for more. But look at these Tanala figurines. They're probably part of some nativity set. I think I've seen that before. And in smaller versions of them. But I can't help myself. I love vintage Tanala so much. The muted colors are gorgeous on these two. And they're in really great condition. So I'll pick them up for about 4 to $5 each. I think one was $3.99, the other one was $4.99. So back on the shelves, I find this piece here. It is $10, but it's half, so it's about $5. I'm just going to pick this up for my collection because I collect a lot of Mexican pieces and um, Southwestern pieces and Navajo pieces, so I'm going to take that for me. I love her pink skirt. Look at the price on this, you guys. I know it's half off of red, 
but it's just a project piece and they want $45 for it. So even a half of that is a little ridiculous. I don't know who's pricing stuff in South Florida at these stores, but the good news for me, and hopefully they're not watching this video, is that they usually price things that are just worthless high. And then the things that are worth it, they a lot of times price low. This one I'm going to pick up just because I love toucans. And again, that's just going to go into my collection. Um, let's see. Hippos. I'm not sure what the, you know consensus overall consensus is with hippos i would um you know if they're desirable pieces i would pick up this horse though if it was a planter because i've sold planters like that that cardinal um thing was cardinal birds thing was um kind of modern i think that this vase it says poland on it i think it's beautiful it's kind of 80s but i left it behind anyway it's too big. All right. This is cool. I've seen this um, artist before, Turner. This is a mid mod vase. And they only want a buck 99. So we won't be telling them <laughs> what that can resell for. Not a whole lot, but for a buck 99, I can make at least a 5X or 6X on it. I think this is a an Italian horse. It's $2.99. I'm going to buy it for my collection. There's a chip on it. But for me, I don't mind rescuing chipped pieces. I really just don't. I like that. That was a score for me. It's kind of got that Deruda Italy look. Miss Piggy has a chip, I believe, in the front. So we're going to leave her behind. She didn't have a price on her anyway. She had a code, so I'm sure there's a price for it. Look at this back here. I've seen these at Disney World on Main Street. Um, I think it's Jim Shore. But they want a lot of money for it. They want $50, and that's pretty much what it's selling for. You will see listings in the hundreds and 300s, but they've sold for $50 to $60 to $70 to $80. But look at this face. Look at that crazy hard water stain in there, though. But I did learn on a whatnot show for, of uh, of Jocelyn, Crazy Lamp Lady. She talked about bong cleaners. I guess somebody told her to use bong cleaners. So I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna take her advice. And I'm gonna use that <laughs> and see what happens. But I have to order some bong cleaner on Amazon because uh, denture tablets are not working for me to take hard water stains out. I know Danny, the niche lady, had once told me um on whatnot that uh i think she says she uses ice cubes and swirl it around so i might try that too with water this is kind of like a mid mod style um futuristic or modernist face i just like it i'm gonna pick it up i'm sure there's not a whole big value there probably 15 dollars at most but it's just kind of cool it's kind of like space like <laughs> Um, it's like see no evil which is probably part of a set looking down here um, yeah, nah. what in the heavens is this you guys if you can tell me what this object with all these eyeballs on it is I think it's supposed to be three animals in one like a toucan um, a duck and then a cow I just it's totally creeping me out with all those eyeballs so I'm gonna leave it I don't like that kind of thing and then there's an elephant I have an owl in this type of design this elephant has a chip on it otherwise I would have picked him up because it's kind of cool if that's supposed to be like an Elvis gnome I'm offended because I love Elvis and no that's more of like a Guy Fieri gnome. <laughs> There's Millie Fury in here, but it feels very lightweight. They want $13 for it. Um, not worth the pickup and not a very desirable color to me. I'm just checking to see if this is like a project piece. I can't figure it out. This is really beautiful. Pottery and see it's signed. For $8, it's probably... 
probably worth the pickup, but I have a lot of vases that are planters that look like that. So I'll leave it for someone else. Check this out. Is this an old lamp? Look how much they want for it. 130, 25, I'm sorry, $125, y'all. And then this right here, some kind of meter for $200. Get out of here. No. However, this piece of brass is made in England. And look at the patina on it and check out the design for five bucks. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Could probably sell that for about 30 to 35 dollars on Etsy. This is a Cambridge um, set. I think it's oil and vinegar with the caddy. Um, the ones that sell for me are usually red or cobalt blue, so I left that. I think these are Russian plates. They want too much for that, too. Don't give up hope if you have a thrift store that just prices things ridiculous because they don't know everything okay they're not us they're not resellers if you're a reseller or if you're a collector they don't know vintage like we do as much not to insult them they might but um so just keep digging this kind of shocked me a little bit you guys i was like today years old when i found out that towley if that's how you say t-o-w-l-e makes costa boda style snowball candle holders this is Wedgwood and it is gorgeous, really gorgeous. But they wrote directly on that bisque um, potter, uh, porcelain that Jasper wearing. I just don't know that that's going to be easy to remove even with acetone. These look like recycled glass figurines, right? That kind of green, maybe Mexican glass. This is just a neat jar. I like to pick up and look at clear glass, but I'm very picky with it. This is Design, D-E-Z-I-N-E, -E, or Design, however you say it, and I always tell you guys to pick it up. They're hand-painted resin vintage boxes, but that one was missing uh, maybe a pewter heart that you can engrave, maybe? On the front, these are some vintage glasses. If you notice, I'm very detailed when I'm looking around and I will go through the same areas two to three times because they're always putting stuff on the shelves. And uh, I miss things a lot when I'm filming because I'm focusing on giving you guys good footage. So this is a very cheap uh, piece, angel piece, but it's cool if you need um, for decor for Christmas. Um that's a cast iron turtle candle holder. If there was two, I'd probably pick it up. Check this out, y'all. I gotta do some more research on this. It's $5. There's a very slight flea bite right there. But I think this is mid-century. That's Amberina. That probably glows. I haven't checked it yet. It probably glows. But I'm like obsessed with the way the metal is stuck on the glass like that. And maybe it's missing a top. I don't know. But that's really neat. That's something like you would put in your antique booth or something. Checking the mugs out and I find this mid-century mug. You guys, look at that burnt orange. Isn't that stunning? That is a really great one. And there's no cracks inside. So for a buck ninety-nine, you see they don't know. And like, look at this for three ninety-nine. This is super antique, and yeah, it's a little dented, but it's a very antique lipstick holder, you know? So there are definite, definite treasures. You just have to look. I like to look at all the candlesticks to make sure I'm not missing any really antique ones. And these are getting harder and harder, in my opinion, to find um, antique ones. Um, I'm just, maybe I'm just not very good at finding antiques. I'm probably better at mid-century stuff but I got suckered into paying like $50 for two candle holders about a year ago and come to find out they were just modern <laughs> but they felt and looked very you know antique and very ornate but I'm careful now like for instance these I thought oh my gosh for sure they're antique or mid-century but aren't they gorgeous it's just the it's like the base for for candles and I was ready to pick them up and then I saw that modern made in India sticker at the bottom so I left it. I'm gonna pick this up. I love the smushed 
vases, um, planters. Uh, I like these. I like to pick them up. I have some blue ones that may be Bill Campbell. I have to find out, but they look just like Bill Campbell. And there's a writing on the bottom that looks like a Bill Campbell signature, so maybe it is. These cups are cool. I wish there were four of those. They're not signed, and they really look like they should be. That's a sugar bowl, and that's the creamer. I didn't really look these up. I just left them. What about this Nestle cup? I mean, it only fits eight ounces. I don't know what's up with vintage cups. Like, the only, people don't didn't drink a whole lot of coffee back then, I guess. <laughs> or maybe they just kept filling it. I, I don't know. I like the handle on this one, but I'm not really sure why I leave it behind. Maybe it's just not signed and I do have a lot of pottery mugs. So I really love these. I thought they were vintage marigold glasses, but they're not. It looks pretty modern. See, I just popped some comps up here on the screen. They're gorgeous though, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna purchase those. But if you need them, come and get them. These are cool. I think this is part of either an Italian tea set or a Turkish tea set. The sparkles on it make me think that they're kind of more modern. They're $4.99, not each, but for the entire set of five, and there are no issues there. I think they're really beautiful, and I think with the right lighting, staging these would be, like, gorgeous. I'm completely drawn to the blue on this ice bucket. This would just be, like, for me... Or, you know, summer parties. And I thought for a second, like, who am I kidding? I don't have time for summer parties. But hopefully someone picks that up. That is awesome. Um, These are kind of cool, too. But I don't know. These are, I think they're old. I'm not sure. I don't know that they're so old. Maybe just vintage. Um, I don't, They're not like antique or anything. They might be Italian. The gold uh design is totally worn on there but i'm going to set them set them on the shelves like that so someone picks them up this is awesome they are from pottery barn and this kind of is reminiscent of a time on at world thrift i did a video where i found a taller mustard and ketchup jar from pottery barn also and some subscribers were saying oh my gosh we were looking at your at this video and we're trying to scream at you to pick up the relish jar at the back that I didn't I missed so I was like I'm not going down that road again I am leaving these on the shelves this bowl is really nice totally 80s very very 80s but the gold rim around it is very worn I liked it though they would that would look great with some like decorative balls in it some marble saw and pepper shakers that are just totally worn on the bottom. This is from Target. I would totally pick these up because they kind of have like this atomic design, futuristic design. But if it was old Florida salt and pepper shakers, because that's what sells for me. People love old Florida. I think this is a Turkish coffee pot. I think that's what they call it. And I'm going to pick this up because I love the cream and the orange and the browns on here and probably the resale value here is like eight to twelve dollars but that would look really cute on a whatnot show very mcm gotta look up gotta look down look at everything that those circles those divided dishes are actually italian but i just picked one up similar the other day this lasagna pan i love it the problem is um, the crazing and bacteria can get underneath that. I learned that from Thrifting Vegas, uh, Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas, and I looked that up, and that is true. So I don't want to get anyone sick, so I'm gonna set that back down. And then this, I think, is the Autumn Harvest or Wheat Harvest. I forget the name of the pattern, and although it is beautiful, I don't think this particular um, pattern sells for very high dollars. So I'll leave it. And I do have some of those anyway. This set of four uh, brutalist style denim blue colored bowls. I don't know if you're seeing that denim blue, but it's only $3. I just really love it. It is signed by the artist. So it's probably project pieces, but it is really gorgeous. Very nice. I love pottery. And I think 
I think most people do too. This little jar confused me because I thought when I picked it up, I would feel metal. I love the blue, that blue lapis color. The top part is metal. I Google lensed it. I couldn't find this anywhere. And unfortunately, I do leave it behind. I don't know why. It, I really should have bought it. Maybe because there was so much, there was a lot of scuffing on it. Thought this was a jade bowl, but it's actually just a ceramic bowl. Berry bowl from uh, uh, made in Portugal. It's kind of cute. Bella Casa doesn't sell for me though. Gans, I like the high spout here, but I'm not gonna pay $5 for it. This is really old, but I already have a couple of them and they want a lot for that, but it would be half off. Uh, I'm just not gonna pick it up. I was kind of hoping that this was vintage and uh, it's not, it's very new, but it's kind of pretty. Those kind of things sell for way too much at retail stores. So check out your um, thrift stores. They wanted $10 for that though. They want $40 for this, which I think is insane. But the, the little frogs of the flower metal appliques are so cute. But there's no discount on that. And it's from a brand called Star Home. I see on the left there's a home goods sticker and a clearance sticker on it. <laughs> so... No thank you. Pots and pans on the walls, baggies. I really need to start digging at, in these baggies because that's how I find my loose light candles at World Thrift. But I don't see anything of interest here and they're spread out pretty well here for, for you to see, to visualize the baggies better. Um, I'm just not seeing anything really. This is a wood carving of a peacock. Um, I wish the colors on it were kind of blue, bluer, bright blue. For $4, I hope someone does pick that up. It's just kind of, the colors are kind of muted. Wasn't really my favorite. But the grain on this is awesome. Look at the wood grain. Oh my gosh, but I don't want to pay $5 for each one. So, very pretty. This wall hanging, I think, is the Taj Mahal, and I never find um, these type of things intact. Usually there's missing pieces, missing wood pieces, but I mean, I really like this. It's very lightweight, so at first glance, you might think like, oh, is this kind of cheap, but look at it. It's not. It's lacquered wood. It's $7.99, but I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I think that that would sell really well at the rust market. I love these people, but they want too much for them. I think that's a little steep, uh, $5.99 for each figurine. I'm just not going to pick that up. This wooden car coin bank is kind of fun. It's missing a headlight though. Look at that huge bill in there. <laughs> you know I checked like <laughs> really intensely to make sure that wasn't real cash in, in there or underneath it. <laughs> Yeah, I just, uh, the broken headlight isn't doing it for me, so I'll leave that. And then let's look down at these shelves. I love the wood section, like every thrift store. I don't know why. I am just obsessed. Some knobs here. This, yeah, I'm going to pick up. This is Mary, Jesus, and Joseph. It's ceramic. I've seen them in like a Fontanini style, and they can sell for a lot of money. So this one, I think I could probably get about $40, $45, especially around Christmas time. So I'm going to pick it up. Yes, this is interesting. Let me know how you feel about these screens because some of them can be pretty cheap where they're plastic and transferware designs. This is marble. This is white marble and it's hand painted. So I don't know. I've never tried selling one before. I have another one, but it's plastic. Let me know if you guys have sold any of those or bought any of them and how much you bought them for or how much you sold them for. I always love the wood inlay kind of Florentine music boxes, even though music boxes don't really sell, but I'm not going to pick that up for that price. These Sirocco Homeco 
shell towel hangers are they're kind of cool um i really wanted to buy them but they're not reselling for much this is i think like a tree god or something i looked it up and i'm putting it back because i do remember that i've seen one sold a long time ago on ebay for 15 dollars. i don't think they're worth a whole much this is um chichen itza probably a souvenir it's really nice eh, for 20 dollars though yeah the prices are a little bit all over the place here this is cool it's not metal it's resin and they're not stones it's painted it's cheapy so they want too much money for that that's probably something that you can buy on amazon <laughs> i don't know there's a box that's similar on the other end i didn't even bother showing you guys because it was so cheap this one this is from an artist named louis carden he's known for making these enamel um, paintings on copper it's just awesome and $4.99 is a really good price because his paintings can range anywhere from $30 to $50 up to $150 at auction. So look at that. I found another one. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. I love it. It leaves a lot to the imagination. And I'm going to go ahead and pet these up. I also like the frames. The corners are nice and tight too. So that's going to be really great for a vintage market also. People love buying framed art at vintage markets. I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's any more. <laughs> love them. I hang almost all of my um, wall art at home until I sell them. So I've got a bunch of mismatched pieces all over the place. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I'm finding any, so I will move on. Look at all these bicycles waiting to get into someone's home these vases wrapped in fabric seem to always be at antique malls and for a lot of money but they're actually not worth much the this one's made in china look at this score i found a mid-century cruel throw there's like it's, it's just so beautiful there's a little bit of a stain on the back but i can get that out real quick isn't that gorgeous? Only for a few dollars, you guys. I expect to resell that for close to $100. They're very popular down here. And of course, when I find a score like that, I go back in to see if there's a second one. A lot of times there are second things, like the Louis Carden um, enamel painting. I'm also looking for granny squares. Those are very popular, those Afghans. This is cool. This has like an Italian sticker and I guess you just put it on the table. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find anyone like that. So it's kind of stiff fabric. It's almost Scandinavian looking, but it's Italian. So I'm going to pick that up for just a couple of dollars. I dropped something. going to put it back on the rack. Just looking for vintage. I have an eye for vintage, so um, not all the time though. Sometimes I miss uh, things, but look at this score, you guys. You would think that the cruel throw was the biggest score, but nope, this one is. This is a Jonathan Adler gold bird. Look at what they sell for. That's just one of those Bolo, you know, be on the lookout brands, Jonathan Adler. Every single thing that I buy that has a sticker on it or I know it's a Jonathan Adler will resell very well. I'm not going to pick this up because I have the same types of vases at home in various sizes. But that is, that can be a bolo. It's aesthetically pleasing to some people. So that would be great for a vintage market. Just hint, hint, if you're doing vintage markets, um... My strategy is bring things that are very, very beautiful and very, very unique. Um, I understand that not everybody has like the biggest inventory, you know, some people do like me because I just thrift all the time, but um, try to pick all of your favorite things. All right. I'm just kind of randomly looking at things right now. I went back to the shelves from the beginning. This is kind of cool. It's like hobnail in reverse. 
You know what I mean? They're like punched, punched in word. Um, this is a Costa Boda. And I put it in my cart, but then I end up ultimately putting it back because it's like, what? You put a Costa Boda back and it's signed. Um, yes, there's a hard water stain in there. I'm gonna remove it with bond cleaner. If I had taken it home, I would. But here's the thing. Those specific ones, they don't resell very well. You know, somebody who doesn't really collect Costa Boda but just heard Costa Boda is really cool, they might buy it. But it'll be sitting on your shelves for a while because usually people collect Costa Boda and know which pieces are worth it. These are just Chinese pieces that I'm picking up. I'm picking this one up in hopes that it is a Costa Boda because I have a lime green vase um, called the Fungi Vase, Fungi, which means mushroom in Italian because it kind of looks like a mushroom and it's that color green. But anyway, that was just a Chinese piece. This is a pretty hand-painted vase, but kind of, kind of the same kind of stuff I see all the time. Alrighty, so my total spend there was about $178. I am going to be on Kat's podcast tonight, The Nurse Flipper, and that is really exciting. I got invited by her to be on, and Georgie Antique Nomad is going to be on, and another guest, his name is Matt. I'm going to put his information down below because I don't know that person yet. I'm looking forward to meeting this